So let's talk about Copilot in OneNote. AI assistant that should help us in building the notes, preparing and summarizing our knowledge in the notes application that we're using on daily basis, but still with some flaws. So that's why the good, the bad and the ugly. So let's dig in and see where there is great potential of the Copilot in OneNote, but where there are still challenges in using this application. If you want to know more about Copilots in general, I want to recommend you to check the free course that is presented on the screen where I'm describing all the applications across Copilot in Microsoft 365 and also helping to prepare your organization for it. Moreover, if you will like this video and want to support this channel, please leave the thumbs up subscribe or leave the comments below. If you are here, you probably love OneNote and using it as a default application for your notes. So why Copilot in OneNote is bad or the ugly? So unfortunately, there are still some limitations about Copilot in OneNote. So first of all, only OneNote app that you can download from Microsoft Store is supported. OneNote for Windows 11 slash Windows 10 does not support Copilot. Also, OneNote in the browser will not work with Copilot functionality. Moreover, today Copilot only supports to dig through the data in the notes, cannot jump out and extend your questions to the data across Microsoft 365. And also you cannot intersync the data from OneNote to any other application like Word file, PowerPoint or SharePoint data. Moreover, it works the same way for another direction. So you cannot drill the data from OneNote to Microsoft Word or other direction. And this is big pain because this is really great functionality and I'm looking forward that this will be improved in the future. Today, there is no yet clear roadmap about that, but hopefully Microsoft will extend these capabilities. So you know why the bad, why the ugly. So let's switch to my screen. Let's see how Copilot in OneNote works and let's answer the question, why the good? So when you will start to use with OneNote in the supported version, you will see that you have the capability to open Copilot in OneNote application. Moreover, you will see that it will be available on multiple levels, on the navigation about specific pages or in the top navigation that manage the notebook in general. And you will see that Copilot will allow you to work very similar way to the way how you're using Microsoft Word and Copilot in there. So you can imagine that you want to prepare some materials about generative AI, but you have no idea what is it. So you can ask Copilot to find this information for you. And in case you have any documents across your Microsoft 365, you can get access to it. So gathering the information across your Microsoft 365 environment could be helpful to prepare your notes across OneNote, but also when you will prepare any context, any text, one of the key functionalities, something that you should already know from Microsoft Word and the way how Copilot works there is the possibility to rewrote the content that you already prepared. This is really powerful scenario because this gives you the possibility to improve your text, improve your documents or inputs to the documents you are working on directly in the OneNote. You can see the functionality is not exactly the same as in Microsoft Word, but works very similar way. Still, some functionalities is missing. It would be great if we will have three options to choose and also possibility to ask for some clarification. Still, this is the very early stage, the ugly version, and we're waiting to get more functionalities similar to the way how it works in Microsoft Word. Again, if you're working with the notes, preparing some materials, you can also ask the copilot to summarize all the notes you have in the specific notebook or in the specific tab in your OneNote 
and to give you the insights. So even if you're working with the team in the OneNote, you gather the information there, maybe you have the knowledge base that includes all the information. You can ask Copilot to prepare the summary, what is really prepared inside all of that data. Again, that kind of summary could help you to speed up your work and to structure your work with gathering the data. Moreover, you can also ask to prepare to-do list. So what is in there that should be implemented as additional tasks for you? Again, you can see Copilot reviewed information across the tab we're using here for our notes and prepare additional structure that could be used for us. Again, you can see in my case, these are very unstructured format of the notes, but if you have some kind of knowledge base or notes from the meetings, what should be done, Copilot could help you to structure it better. And also when you will work on the new post to social media about Copilot or any other element, you can ask Copilot to prepare you some kind of plan for it can ask Copilot to help you to prepare some kind of data, some basic stuff that you will use as a framework to create more advanced posts for social media. Again, this will be not something that will replace your work, but still you can see Copilot could really help you to deliver some more information. Moreover, if there will be something useful across your Microsoft 365, you can find the resources that will be useful for you. You don't have to copy that and use it exactly as you wish, but still, this could be really great starting point to work on your data. Even you can rewrite or create the to-do list based on such an approach. Copilot could really help you in working on the notes and if you're working with now OneNote, you can already imagine how useful it could be, but still you can see this functionality is very basic. It is not that advanced as in other Microsoft 365 applications. I really love it. I thinking about switching for OneNote edition that supports Copilot, but still this is ahead of me. So if you're working with OneNote, you have Copilot license, open OneNote from Microsoft Store version and try how Copilot could help you to summarize, to review, to rewrote or to create the new content in your OneNote app. You can see Copilot in OneNote have great potential to be one of the most useful AI assistants in the Copilot for Microsoft 365 portfolio. But still we need to wait till the moment that Microsoft will support all the applications available as a OneNote clients because I believe you, the same as me, looking forward to use AI with the OneNote application, which probably, if you are in this video, you're using on a daily basis. Moreover, if you're using Copilot, I recommend you to try the supported application and the features that are there because you can see there's really great potential there. But let's see how soon the future will improve the way how Copilot works in OneNote. And I promise I will show you that in the next videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next videos.